Well, good evening, everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine, and I am coming to you live right here, right now, in sunny South Florida. And as you can see, from one end to the other, brake calipers, all done, polished, ready to go back together. And boy, let me tell you something. This is what it's all about here in sunny South Florida. Now, we've got a lot of material to cover here today. As a matter of fact, Mr. Sunshine, ease it on in uh, here in sunny South Florida. I'm going to put these all together here so that we have a little thing going on. And that's going to go over here just like that. Just like that. Okay. And uh, we're going to set this one aside for right now. So what we got going on are some... Where is that other one for crying out loud? One, two, three, four, All right, so we're coming back here. I'm actually going to have to blast this one. So here we are uh, putting together these brake uh, calipers tonight. We're going to finish these up tonight so we have them all finished. But uh, this is what we got going on here. There it is. You can see how nice and clean they are inside and out. Uh, you can take a look at this where the brake pad went down so low that it actually ground out that uh, caliper well it's not going to hurt it because the pads are going to be in there so uh, it'll be a lot better in better condition so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the new seals and we're going to go ahead and put this back together so that we can get these things done and ship back to their perspective owners right here in sunny south florida so we're going to get started on these to show you exactly what needs to be done now everything is nice and clean. I use a Dremel to polish the inside there. Uh, you can see that, Robert. You know, Robert, you and I, you as the master of uh, bathtub uh, reglazing and taking that, I'm here rebuilding Rolls Royce calipers. Uh, here's another brake accumulator. I just done polished, charged up to 1,200 pounds of pressure. Uh, we also have this one here. This is actually another one with the brake. There it is. Look at that. Totally redone. That is not silver paint. That's actually the polished metal on there. So uh, we're just showing you today uh, what I'm trying to get done because I got all of these jobs here. The Rolls Royce parts are coming in nonstop. So uh, here's one of the rings. So we put one of the rings in here. Okay, after everything's been cleaned, after everything's been polished, you go ahead, we're going to stick one of the O-rings in here so that it's going to ride right on there. You've got to make sure that it goes in and it's seated nice and neat, flat in there. It's a little hard because I can't see with the light, but we'll get this up in here. And... I've been working all day today. Uh, another real estate closing today. Got that done. Uh, locksmithing all day long. And I, I could find time to put the Rolls Royce parts together. So there it is. You got your O-ring in there. There's the O-ring. It's sitting right there in nice and flat. It's all nice and cleaned out in there. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a piston. These are the brand new pistons. Uh, I don't reuse anything. I put all brand new pistons in there when I rebuild these calipers to make sure that everything is done and it's going to last another, uh, another 45, 47 years. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a little sill glide. You can use a little sill glide in there. All right, uh, a lot of people, some people use RR363 fluid in there. I'm just going to put the sill glide. It's not going to hurt anything. So we go ahead and put a little bit of that right around the piston. So it'll slide in there. You can see brand new pistons there. Okay, ready to go. 
coat that nice and easy like that and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that and slide it right down into there press it in nice and easy as such it's really in there <laughs> look at that wow that's a tight fit push that in there a little bit better there we go in there just like that nice and pressed fit we then go ahead and put a dust cover on there these are the dust covers and these are the wire retainers we go ahead slide the dust cover right over the piston now some people put it on when they put the piston in me I like to put it on after it's in and then we go ahead push that all the way down <laughs> Just like that. Push it right around. We gotta actually push that in a little bit farther. There we go, have it bottomed out. So we have it down in there. We push the O ring right around there. Take a look at that, huh? See, that goes right around, keeps the dust and the dirt out from there as such. And then we go ahead and we slide our retaining ring. This retaining ring holds the dust shutter down around as this does just like that. We're actually use our little tool to push it down in there and then seal it in. And there you have it. There it is. So we got one done. We'll go ahead and do the other one. And then we have to put the gallery. There's a little gallery O-ring in here, a special O-ring. And that's what mates the two services together, just like that. Okay, so once you have it together, that O-ring compresses onto here. It makes the RR363 fluid travel over to this ring on this side. And then we go ahead and use our bolts just right here to put that in there. And we get it all done. So... All right, I'm going to continue getting these all done tonight, and uh, this way I can get these things shipped out tomorrow. Hope you're all having a great night tonight. It's Friday night, sunny South Florida. Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce Technician Eddie, right here, right now, in sunny South Florida.